We're coming to you. Okay, here we go. Kevin Randall is as okay. excited as you can get to be here in Japan. The monster, Kevin Randleman from USA. Okay, and that's his opponent, Michiyoshi Ohara. I get the feeling that this fight may not make it past the first round. Uh, same thing here. We predicted it a couple of times now, and um, um, it seems really to look like it. Look, Randleman is ready to go. He's, gonna, he's on fire. Yeah, I think that there's a saying that we have, and it's called hot knife through butter. Kevin Randleman may be the hot knife, and uh, the blonde, actually, they're both blonde tonight, but they're not from the same family, genes, obviously. <laughs> O'Hara, it better watch out for the punches here. Look at this. Whoa. There. Randall's going to throw that right hand. You can see it coming a mile away. There it is. Crack. Kevin Randall's got to relax here because he doesn't want to use up all his energy in the first 10 minute round. Oh, yeah, and he's got to watch out that he's not going to catch a call from those punches from O'Hara because they're a miss. O'Hara leaning back very much like his fight with. Henzo Gracie. Yeah, I think the best thing for Kevin right now, pull back and go to the punching again. He doesn't need to take him down, just punch with the guy. Good break, because we want to see some shots. Well, O'Hara, O'Hara. Yeah, O'Hara's already got a bloody nose. O'Hara wants that clinch. He wants that clinch, and I think a knee would be appropriate right about now, boss. <laughs> Perfectly, man. You're scanning me. Nice body, body shot here. Randleman. Michiyoshi Ohara has Hidehiko Yoshida, the man who defeated Hoist Gracie in the uh, Pride K1 Shockwave show, which happened a few months ago. And he's been training with Yoshida. And that's two judo guys because Ohara comes from a judo background also. Yeah, but they, he, there's no way he can take this fight to the ground. Or Kevin has to get tired, but there's no way he's going to take his fight to the ground. Randleman's way too good of a wrestler to go to the ground. If it goes to the ground, Kevin will do it. That well, wasn't neither. Well, right now, it looks like they're kind of in a survival mode. At least O'Hara, he wants that clinch. He doesn't want to sit here and trade with Randleman because Randleman has been working a lot on his boxing. Randleman... Oh, look at this. Uh-oh! Randleman has got O'Hara in a little bit of trouble here. A lot of those missed. Uh, like I said, he's flailing away. Uh, he doesn't want to burn out all his energy. Yeah, he's got to push himself away and go with the strikes. Uh, Randleman did say, I'm basically a street fighter, but I plan on knocking him out. And he had to practice boxing and kicking and training because it didn't really come natural to him the, 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 the traditional way because he had his own way of throwing punches early on. Body shot there. <laughs> I like to see that. It looked like Kevin was uh, setting him up for a throw. Uh, a little bit before and this. The referee, Yuji Shimada, is breaking the fighters, and it's a good break because they were, there was no activity there. O'Hara does not want to be outside like this because Randleman's going to land that bomb. Expect the overhand right. Ooh, nice left uppercut there. Man, O'Hara can take a shot. That left uppercut was right on the button. He's got to keep going. He's got to keep attacking him and then go for the body. The knee would be perfect right here. Oh, man. Because especially the, the side that he's got underhooked would be the one he wants to, to knee on. But O'Hara is the one who throws the knee, but he didn't even land. There, Kevin's going to set it up now, it looks like. No. Yeah, he's got to push it away. And go back to the striking because he's very effective with that. Trump. Now Kevin has got O'Hara in a position 
where he theoretically could take him down, but he's got to get the uh, double underhook and lock his hands behind O'Hara's back so he can step back and bring him down. <laughs> nice. But O'Hara, to his credit, rolled with the punch. Yep. Kevin's got to work the body also here in the corner. Yeah, he's going to throw him. This is a lot different than I thought it would be, boss. Me too. I thought it was going to be a real fast knockout. We're talking about an, within a minute. Well, we have six minutes left in the round, and so far we're getting a lot of aggression and then a lockup, and it's turning into a bit of a pattern. It's deathly quiet here yes, at great. Rainbow Hall, Nagoya, Japan. That's one thing I love about the Japanese audiences. They really, really watch for all the nuances. O'Hara coming in with the right hand. It didn't really do much. Oh, nice right hook down from it, Kevin. It almost turned O'Hara all the way around, but it didn't really knock him down or, or shake him. O'Hara can take a shot. And another right strike. But he couldn't, take, he couldn't take that shot. Oh, man. O'Hara doesn't want any more of this. Just as soon as I said O'Hara could take a shot, Kevin proved me wrong, and I love it. I love it. Kevin Randall threw that right hand. O'Hara went down and tried to roll out of the ring. He got to restart it on the ground now, even though it's a yellow card. Yellow card. Okay, that's a... Uh, whoa. Yeah, Kevin that's is going to be dangerous right here. He's got to really jump on him. Yeah, I, that that's kind of surprises me. I thought they were going to restart it on the ground, even though he had a yellow card. But he's got five minutes time. He just got to pick his punches. Dice left hook there. We're halfway through the round. Now O'Hara clowning around, but that is not going to win the fight. The yellow card is a warning by the referee. They also deduct 10% of the fighter's purse if they receive a yellow card for an for an illegal act such as rolling out of the ring. If you get three yellow cards, you are automatically disqualified. Here we go. Randleman setting it up. Nice. Randleman coming in swinging wild and missing. Okay, he, I, I know his strategy. He's tried to deafen him or something and then throw him off with a, with a war scream. <laughs> it's not working, I think. Randleman's got to go left hook to the head, right straight to the body. Randleman is loading up right now. I think Randleman should just basically come in and start throwing light punches, and, and when he sees the opening, crack him with a hard one. Because if he loads up on every punch and they miss, it's going to really take away his energy. He's, he's telegraphing that right hand. He's got to do something. There we go. There we go. He's got to keep going. He's got to follow him. He's getting too wild here. Randleman is too, is too wild here with his punches. He's missing. Knee him in the head. Whoa, it looks like Kevin is here. Tired. Well, yep. O'Hara is mounting virtually no offense. And when he's being attacked, well, there's a, there's a right hand, by, but O'Hara trying to get the clinch. And he's going to try and shut Kevin down. Will Kevin try and bring him to the mat? Mark Coleman says no. <laughs> Kevin Randleman has former two-time UFC champion and former Pride Grand Prix champion Mark the Hammer Coleman in his corner. One of the greatest fighters in mixed martial arts history. But Randleman needs to either mount an attack, close the show, or just start to pick O'Hara apart and save his energy. Yeah, he's got it. When he wants to do it, he's got to do it now. Right now. Go. Left hook, right straight, attack. O'Hara doesn't have any striking defense. He walks away from strikes. It's such an easy target. It's like a punching bag. He hits in the air. He has no striking distance. Kevin, just loose. Go loose and let, let it go. Obviously, O'Hara is not well-versed in strikes, boss. <laughs> I mean, he, he's landed a few punches. Uh, now, that was probably not a Kyokushin kick. 
Oh, oh God, that was a, a hope rope right kick something. Yeah, they got to do something, yeah, both of them, because the audience is getting, thank God it's not in Holland. <laughs> do you think it's possible that O'Hara, even though he's not looking good here against Randwick, could knock someone out training? Yes, I heard about that. Yeah, you got to love the fantasy of people. I mean, no, but seriously, Randleman is the superior striker here. He uh, has not tried for a takedown. That seems to be the game plan. O'Hara doesn't seem to be uh, exhibiting too much power with his punches. And we're, we're seeing a lot of staring here. Yeah, we should just unleash. Mark is getting a little aggressive here on the corner. Is, come on, let's go, Kevin. And only one minute left here. It's right here is where you want to use a low kick. Anything. Yeah, because uh, if Kevin knew a good low kick, right now's the time. Because I don't know that O'Hara would know how to block it. He'd probably turn his leg the wrong way because it's right there waiting to be kicked. And he should follow up. He should follow up after he does that. He throws the right hand and backs away. O'Hara is not dangerous, so Kevin has nothing to worry about. 30 seconds. Unload. 30 seconds. Oh, this fight goes totally different than I thought it would be. Yeah, jab. He knocks him out with a jab. Come on. Go. 10 seconds. Okay. No. Okay, boss. Uh, realistically, where does uh, O'Hara's skill level rank with some of the other fighters in Pride? Uh, I would say, to be totally honest, I would. Uh, he would be the bottom, I think. Yeah. Because if, but one thing he has the skill at doing is surviving, because he made it through that first round. He made it through the first round, and Randleman really tried to knock him out, but I think Randleman has got to conserve his energy. Randleman seems to only know how to throw power punches. Here they are trading, and there's that right hand. That was right on the jaw. I'm telling you, O'Hara can take a shot. He can take a shot, but he is afraid of the shot, too. He turns his back to Randleman. Hey, look at this. That was a beautiful knockdown. Why didn't he just jump? There he goes. He jumps on him, and O'Hara really he basically saved himself. Yeah. For being annihilated. He thought, I don't want to be here. Because Kevin, he can ground and pound. Oh, yes, we know that. That was a beautiful right hand off of uh, O'Hara's right low kick. And Randall went following him out of the ring. But he cannot continue to fight out of the ring. We have rules here. Uh, that was the first uh, round. Uh, it was 10 minutes. The next two rounds were scheduled for five minutes each. And let's see how much both these guys have in their gas tank. And let's see if Randleman can finish what he started in the first round. I think O'Hara's going to need a miracle to pull this one out. If it goes the distance, you can only hope that Kevin Randleman will get tired. Yeah, it looks almost like Kevin is tired, but I think it's just also the 10-minute round system. He's used the five-minute rounds, and then you come into Pride, you hear from uh, other fighters too. They say the first round, it's a 10-minute round. It's kind of crazy, you know. It's, it, it needs a lot of adapting. But uh, So that could be the trick. He's rest now. He's got his right hand. Load it up and see if he can land it again. Get O'Hara coming out, swinging. Nice take down there. That was beautiful. He ducked under the punch, body lock, and slammed O'Hara. O'Hara in a really tough position here. Randleman blasting that left hand. Oh, that was a big time right hand. Big time right hand. O'Hara crawling toward the ropes again. He's doing his job now. Exactly what he has to do. Get on hit the back of the head. That's what the referee says there. Just crawl to the side and hit him again. Start raining knees on him. To the body. Look at this. He's going to go for him. 
and, uh, and a hammer lock got reversed. Pick a four. No, he isn't. He's got to start kneeing the legs. I just work. I think Randleman is trying to flip him over, but he's going to. The problem here is that O'Hara cannot see the punches coming. But he's just going to cover up. If he doesn't do something more than this, it could give the referee a good reason to stop this fight. Because he's really doing nothing to try and win the fight. Yeah, he tried to sweep Randleman there, and that was a good move to get Randleman off of him. Randleman was going for the mount, and now he's got a, a butterfly guard on Randleman. Yeah, Randleman's got to try to pass this one, go to the side mount, and then strike. Don't let him get the full guard. Oh, they're going to restart it in the center of the ring. Yeah, they're going to drag him back to the center. Come on, come on, come on, Kev. Come on, Kev. Don't just win. Don't just win. Now, you know this position with Kevin Randleman, boss. On, oh, yes. I've been in this position for about 21 minutes or something with him. <laughs> he's very hard to um, get off of you because he's got a very strong base. Um, but he's been working on submissions, he told me before. Yeah, he's been working on jujitsu and he's been training boxing a little bit with Emmanuel Stewart the famous boxing coach of Lennox Lewis and countless other world champions in boxing. Yeah, he's got to step it up now. He's got to do something and hurt O'Hara. There we go. Kevin Randleman went on record to say that his fight with Randy Couture was his greatest, even though he lost the fight because uh, he thought he gave his best performance in that fight. And he said that he wants a shot at the Pride title within a year. And what title that it would be? Heavyweight or middleweight? I think that Randleman's going to come in at 205 and, and challenge uh, for the middleweight title. Because right now he's about 220 in this fight, I think. Huh? Uh, he said uh, 215. So 215. I, think, I think he could drop that 10 pounds easily because when he fought in the UFC, he was able to make 205 with no problem. Mark Coleman went on record with me. One time and said, if Kevin misses a meal, he's 205. Well. He's got quite a work ethic, uh, Kevin Randleman does. Randleman told me that he has been a blonde since he started in mixed martial arts in 1996. Now it looks like that blonde is growing in a little bit uh, to the roots, though, in this one. Yeah. Here we go, half guard. He's got to go work the body, strike with the right hand now to the body, and then set him up for the big shot to the head. Well, the frustrating thing for me is that Arhara doesn't seem to have a counter attack here at all. He's kind of just hanging on. And when a fighter does that, it shuts down the other fighter's offense and ma makes the match momentarily stale. Yeah, it's very difficult. It's indeed what you said. If the other guy doesn't want to fight and he holds you, it's very hard to break that. Still, he can do. He can try to go for the butt like he's doing now, but then with more power. Cross face O'Hara. Well, one thing about O'Hara, like many of, of the fighters here tonight, he's got a really good sense of humor. As a matter of fact, when I asked him about his prediction for the fight, he just laughed at me. He didn't say anything back, so I... I, I don't know if that meant from confidence or because he was just happy to be here fighting because some of these guys just like to fight. I don't know what the deal is with him because he was a, he's a pro wrestler here and he put everything on the line. He went into real fighting uh, after his last performance, which wasn't good. Uh, everybody told me that he trained real, real hard. So he's going to do <laughs> way different than his first performance, but it looks exactly the same to me. It really, really does, Boz. You hit it right on the head. He said that he will not retreat, but to me, that's all he's done. Yeah, he tries to avoid the fight. Uh, Rendleman here almost gets the mount. If you can pull that out here, his foot, like now almost. Rendleman, Whoa. boss, you know because of that, that little in introduction that you did with, with Rendleman, a little in interview, that, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I, I love that. Uh, He's a very explosive and emotional individual, but he said he's, he's finally at peace. And almost seconds after he said that, he said that Tito, what did he say? Tito is... <laughs> Do I have to read it now? <laughs> can we say this on TV? Tito is a Yes, we can, eh? Because like a What? what? 
That's what that's what Tito, that's what Kevin said. Yeah, Kevin seems to have a real axe to grind with uh, UFC light heavyweight champion Tito Ortiz. I don't know what happened, but Kevin said to me, if Tito says one word about him, he'll get on a plane and, and fly over and kick his ass. Now, yeah. <laughs> that's some pretty harsh words, but it's it's a it's the type of business, the fight business, where promotion is everything, and that body slam just about ended the fight. Yep, right on his head, on his neck. Yeah, it's good th good thing for O'Hara. All that instinctive uh, rolling that he did with judo caused him to roll onto his shoulder. Otherwise, you could have been knocked out. We've seen people get knocked out from those kind of body slams. But that right hand, he cracked a right hand here. And I can't believe how O'Hara can pick it. Like that right there, that was right on the button. But O'Hara almost jumped out of the ring again. That uh, second round was, the, uh, aside from the body slam, was pretty slow. Let's hope that they can pick it up here. It would nice to, it'd be nice to see a, a, a solid finish by either guy. So far, Randleman is in complete, total control of Michiyoshi Ohara. So I would have to say, as I said in Championship Chaos last year. Give it to me, baby. Uh, I, I'm going to have to say this one more time, folks. Ohara's treachery has disgraced us again. Kevin looks fresh now. It, like, it looks like he's got a second wind. O'Hara doesn't look real good. Um, man, what's going to happen, huh? I don't know, but he's if, I, if I were Kevin, I would just keep it standing and just play around with him and pick his shots. Yeah, I mean, Get in close and pick his shots. Get him on the ropes, go to the body, and hook to the head. Yeah, he doesn't do not want to take down. That's what he wants to do, that. And he wants to hit him with that. Yeah, he's got to hit him. He's got to get him on the ropes. And but what, what's going? Oh, there's that. Nice. That's a good shot. Kevin's got him in trouble. O'Hara doing everything he can to survive here, getting the fight on the ground. Kevin should stand back up. Kevin should stand back up. Yeah, it was automatic reflex, I think. Wrestler, he will stay on the ground. Yeah, now. he's going to stay on the ground. We're, we're locked down on the ground. He should. He could have knocked him out standing up. Yep. Or, or at least get got the referee to seriously consider stopping the fight. O'Hara turned his back. That's a sign where a fighter wants out. Yeah, if it would have been for the ropes, he would have ran. Because the crushed uh, windpipe. He's got to push himself out here. Boss, uh, it, it seems that O'Hara doesn't only have a submission. Uh, arsenal that we've seen in his two fights here in Pride. So do you think that Kevin should just concentrate on uh, passing the guard? Right away. Yeah, because, I mean, unlock the, the you know, the headlock he's got, O'Hara's got him in, and just work on passing the guard because he doesn't have to worry about a triangle choke and armbar necessarily. And if, he, and if he does go for it, he gives Kevin an opening to strike. Look at this. O'Hara really doesn't want to be there. They got, man, Kevin's got to move now. He he sees how tired O'Hara is. He's got to do what exactly what you said. Pass the guard. Just pass the guard. Just e either get side mount or mount or something. Wow. I'm sitting here because using my hands. This is, I can't say they're doing less than nothing, but. You're not doing anything. Let's go. Yeah, we hear Mark screaming at Kevin. He says, let's go do something, do something, but... Okay, good, we're good gonna stop it here. Thank, stop it. thank the Lord. Okay, it's uh, another yellow card for Michiyoshi Ohara uh, for stalling on the ground. And uh, Kevin's got to keep him standing. You just got to keep him standing. Pick the shots. He, he, could he could take this guy out. Any shot. Body shot, head shot, any shot is good right But he's got to he's got to land it. He can't sprint, swing a while and let O'Hara back up like that. Oh, just jump on him! Right straight to the body. Jump on him! Move, move, and finish him. Finish him. There we go. They should stop the fight here. They should stop the fight. When he turns his back like this, that, that, that means he doesn't want to fight. He should just finish him. 
You've got to keep going. Our O'Hara, as you said, boss, doesn't want any more of this. I, I don't see any reason why he's in the ring. It looks like he doesn't enjoy it. Because <laughs> Randleman is, he, it, there's no way O'Hara's going to take Randleman down. The only thing Randleman's worried about is a clinch. He's, he's virtually landing every punch he, he throws now. We got two minutes left. Kevin could do it here. He could, uh, got the body lock. Good, I'm glad. Good oh, I am thank glad. Thank God for you, G. Thank you for thank the restart. You, G. What's she this? Got... A drop scissor kick, just back up, Kevin. Back up. Good. He's got to give him a yellow card if he doesn't give up. Get up. One more yellow card, and O'Hara's going to get disqualified. Oh, man, front kick, anything. There, go. She should just go. She should start blasting punches. And I, I don't think Kevin should worry about power here. Because if he throws enough punches, the referee would stop the fight. He'd just start throwing light punches and just start hitting him. That was a good one. Because he, he's trying to knock him out with one punch. He's loading up too much. He's got to throw combinations here. Just start throwing combinations. Yeah. You're exactly right. I've never seen anybody with a defense like this. He has no defense at all. His biggest, biggest defense is he's hoping the guy break his hand on his jaw. Man, I would give him such a body shot. This guy's wide open for a left uppercut, big time. <laughs> or, or any punch. There it is. Oh, look at, oh, look at him rolling his eyes on the jab. Wow. Yes, this fight turned out totally different than we thought. Well, it's possible that Kevin Randleman had missed one of his heavy punching bag workouts. He just wanted to get a little bit of a punching bag workout in this fight. And he got that with O'Hara. Yep. Uh, it would be a virtual impossibility for O'Hara to win this fight right now unless he miraculously either submitted Kevin Randleman, which he won't, or knocked him out, which he won't. Yeah, there's no miracle gonna happen, trust me. We're not even, the fight isn't even over, but we're betting the farm that Ran uh, now Randleman's got it. Come on. Uh, Ooh, and this is not good. When you hit an audience like this in Japan, that means you had a real bad performance. Yeah. Yeah, but Kevin was trying to make the fight. I think Kevin learned some lessons in this fight. What did O'Hara learn? O'Hara learned that, um, <laughs> Never to go back. <laughs> uh, find a job, a desk job, preferable, uh, preferably. But uh, look at this. He has no defense. He looks away. It's um, yeah. He has no business here yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, it's just well to his credit, he went the distance, but he did so in a very unceremonious fashion, getting two yellow cards along the way. Let's see what the judges think. No. I'm going to be really surprised. <laughs> Judge Koyashi, Landerman. Judge Nishi, Landerman. Judge Arachi, Landerman. Yoke Shosha, Kevin Landerman. Well, I can safely say that decision did not shock the world. Randleman got what he came here to get, and that was a win. Uh, but O'Hara was a lot tougher than people thought he was going to be. Yeah, but tough doesn't mean anything. It has no fighting skills whatsoever. Um, it's, yeah, it was sad. Uh, I think jet lag, everything. So Kevin fights here in Japan, you know, no choose to do uh, time difference. A lot of things involved. He could have finished the fight with strikes. He didn't do it, but he won the fight. Good to win. Oh, yeah. And that's what it's in the end all about. 